I feel like I've been waiting for this day for... I can't even count. Like, I'm just so, so glad the official rollout for Playbook Cardi is officially happening right now. And, you know, I was just chilling at work and I was just, like, listening to the Academics live stream and he pretty much like, confirmed the brand new Cardi album is on its way. And I was just like, man, it's about time because Cardi was just posting so much. He was posting on a story and it was just super weird. I was like, why is Cardi posting on a story? You know what I mean? And I saw like a bunch of different posts, like reposts on Twitter. Because I use Twitter like a lot of the time. And I was like, man, is this is this real? And then I actually checked out Playbook Cardi's Instagram story. And I'm like, yeah, this is actually legit. But yeah, DJ Academics, he even tweeted. Like, I was on the live stream. I was listening to the live stream when he typed this in. He was like, Playbook Cardi, I'm coming January. It will be the greatest thing you ever heard. And Academics was really, really hyping it up. And he said he even talked to Cardi on the phone that same day, which is like today, which is the 7th. So it's going <laughs> to, I, like, I think it's going to be like a crazy project. And I think he's going to go into the kind of the Tyler the Creator direction. It may not be fully, uh, no, nah, scratch that. Like I, I, like, I, like, I think it's going to be kind of like a concept album of him going back to his to his trap roots that's just like my guess on it just because of the whole smoke um uh smoke dizza what's 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 this guy's name i have it in the the other notes um yeah i forget his name like smoke swizzle so some guy like that that was that was gonna preview the the wicked killers track on the radio and stuff like that but anyway since i'm already here let's just talk about the artists and producers who reposted play with cardi's i am music teaser so far and i think it was almost a year now i think it was at least a year or nine months ago cardi did this um this online interview saying yeah like i'm working on a new project and so far it's going to be called music so i guess this is this is definitely not the cover but the cover is actually in plain sight and i'll touch on that in a different different video you know what i mean but yeah it says i am music with these weird like little I don't even know, like these weird little texts, but a lot of people started reposting it. And if you look at the bottom of my page right here, it says Playbook Cardi is absolutely trending right now. You know what I mean? And people thought he was gonna potentially be dropping, but Cardi's not dumb enough to be dropping the same time as Nicki Minaj, because you know Nicki Minaj has the, the barbs, whatever. And she's dropping Pink Friday tonight, or I guess Pink Friday too. And that's gonna do disgustingly crazy numbers just with how crazy the cold fan base Nicki Minaj has. But Pharrell Williams posted the music thing, filthy. And one thing I do want to say, the last time an artist did this where people were posting, reposting the cover or reposting something, it was, um, I believe it was, was it Travis Scott? Who was it again? Yeah, I think it was, I think it was Travis Scott. Was it Travis Scott? No, no, it was it was Young Thug. Yeah, it was. I'm tripping out. It was it was definitely Young Thug. And as you can see in the corner here, I I happened to, you know, make a post in the the Reddit page on Play with Cardi, and I'm not gonna lie to you, the the Play with Cardi fans ended up hacking me, gave me a a Trojan on my laptop just because I had a I had a hot take. You know what I mean? I had a hot take, and you know they. <laughs> Happened to be hacking my computer and stuff like that, but it is what it is. Things happen like that, you know what I mean? But yeah, they're really just trying to just trying to take me down. But yeah, Phil Williams, Filthy, and yeah, I got sidetracked. So I think all the people that actually posted this man is gonna be on the project. And it looks like so far it's mostly producers and a few different guest features. So we got Pharrell Williams and Pharrell Williams. I don't think him and Cardi have a track together, but I know Uzi and Cardi do. So I think he's going to have a, you know, like, I think he may be part of an executive producer and definitely just kind of touching up the project because Pharrell Williams, he's a, he's a nigga that made Happy, you know, made Happy is like, like one of the most catchiest songs, but like annoyingly catchy, like annoyingly, like, you know what I mean? Like Pharrell Williams was with the Neptunes and he's just like a music genius. But anyways, Filthy posted it, Cardo Got Wings posted it. Oh, Javolta, I don't even know who that is. Jonah, Abraham, Abraham, I don't know who that is. KP Beats, he's like an opium producer, so that's definitely a W. 
Homicide Bino, and yeah, like Homicide Gay, and like, I think this project is going to be inspired by some of just the, the topics that Homicide Gay talk about, like especially Fifth Amendment. One of my albums of the year, I've been bumping that in a great chaos like every single day. Like both those projects. Like I love Homicide Game. When Homicide Game jumped Summers, I was like, let's go. Let's go. Because you already know how many times I just like hate on Summers. Because you know what I mean? Like I like, I do like Summers, but I just don't like what he posts on the stories and stuff like that. Like the stories of him cutting himself, him promoting drugs and doing lean and zans like that. Like I just don't fuck with the personality of Summers. He does make some fire music. I still bump his project Go from time to time. I think Stuck in My Waist is trash. But um, Roark Bailey, don't know who that is. SS Sorit, I don't know who that is. 100 year old, I do know who that is. He's a fire producer. Um, no, I actually don't. I thought it was 16 year old. So I don't actually know who 100 year old is, but I would assume a producer. Lucian, definitely producer. DJ Moon, producer. And Fritz. I recognize Fritz, I just don't don't remember who that is, but I think it's in the producer range. But yeah, like I don't know if Cardi's capped or not because you know how many times Cardi just caps? I mean at the same time technically he hasn't really ever like capped, you know what I mean? Like he just kinda gives like hints. Kinda gives hints and a lot of the fans like to speculate on when he's dropping. That's kinda like what I'm doing right now. So I d I don't even know when when Cardi's dropping, but I don't know, academics is pretty reliable. He never really lies about shit. Very reliable source, so I would assume it's probably coming out in January. I just do not know when. You know what I mean? I, I hope it's soon though. But like, I've been, I've been waiting for this moment because I know his next project, music. I think that's what's gonna be called. I think music is gonna be absolute fire. Obviously overhyped, no matter what. So when the project comes out, I'm, I'm gonna have to like delete my, my Twitter app just so I don't get like screwed up in the head with everybody just talking about their opinions. I had to do that for Little Uzi Vert's pink tape. Once I listened to the pink tape all the way through. Went for a drive, I was like, okay, like, now I'll check out Twitter, because I don't want Twitter to, you know, just change my mind on what I think of the project, you know what I mean? But yeah, Cardi's dropping January, and it's straight up Cardi season, man, and I'm stoked, definitely stoked on that, definitely stoked.